So David says, can we see Ellie use the Dremel? I have not been able to touch the Dremel since I've been here. Um, go ahead. I have faith to myself. You can't hurt this right here. So let's go right here. Really? Yeah, let's do it. Just making a hole. Turn it on first, yeah. We're gonna put a hole right just like you're drilling a hole in that line. All right, so I'll tell you why I was using a Dremel in Florida in just a little bit. But first, I want to tell you why I was there chopping up starlings in the first place. I interviewed Brandon Walsh recently. He's a professional off-road racer and a professional modifier of Starlink units. He was called out a few weeks ago to modify some units for a relief organization called Help NGO. They're a global organization and they wanted him back there to transform even more units, like four times the amount this time. So he wanted to know if I could come and help. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. All right. Tesla Bob. <laughs> yes, you made it. Rocket. Rocket power. All right. Uh, we are going to be. This is Ellie in space with Tesla Bob. Thanks for getting me. Um, and I'm back in Florida because I'm here on a Starlink mission to basically chop up Starlinks in a hotel room. I know it sounds kind of, you know, gory a little bit here, um, but we are going to be transforming Starlinks so that they can be mounted for uh, Hurricane Ian relief efforts. So my friend Brandon did this a few weeks ago. They called him back here to do even more. So I'm here uh, on a very quick trip, but I'm gonna show you the madness that's already starting to, um, into in the hotel room. We have 20 Starlink units to transform. So this is gonna be nuts. All right, hello everyone. Ellie and Space here. I am in Orlando, Florida. And yes, you saw the thumbnail and we are going to chop up a high performance dish. Brandon Walsh here owns Star Mount Company and he's been doing this with the normal dishes that a lot of you probably have. You think no one's ever done it with high performance. I mean, I've owned a lot of the forums and a lot of the uh, pages and what I've never seen anyone do it. So um, we might be the first. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Well, at least we're the first one to share it. We're going to take it nice and slow because we don't really know what's in there. Um, it's probably very similar to the other ones, but we're going to take it nice and slow and take our time. But uh, we're going to learn a lot here because the, the goal is to, the reason I'm here in Florida, I'm from San Diego, is you look behind me, I got 20 brand new Starlink dishes um, that I've been cutting down for uh, a uh, relief effort um, organization that they've been asking me to cut them down and make flat mounts uh, for all their relief cars. Right. Uh, and I have one behind them. I'm going to grab one so you guys can see and what we're so doing here. so Brandon was here about two weeks ago now and he did five of those and so now they want him back to do 20 more. So some people on Twitter were saying, why are you cutting these up? Um, they will be operational. They're, they're still working. This is not just a fun experiment. Yeah, so we take a Starlink and we'll show you what, what each one looks like. But the end result is this. We cut it down to a little, about an in, one inch, and there's the whole circuit board. But that's your Starlink right there. That's what would usually be pointing at the sky. I'll talk louder. And what we do is uh, we cut it down. We make, we make this mount right here. And then essentially it goes inside here with the clear cover. And you have your Starlink, which is that thin. And what they're doing is they're putting them on top of cars. We have RVers they're putting on top of the RVs, uh, vans, semi trucks, you name it. Like literally Race everything. Cars. Race cars. Um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, and I've had a lot of people ask, do I have a mount for this big one? I don't. Right. Well, now we have one today, and we're going to, the first step to making one is tonight. Because this is a newer one, and for a while it was just limited to business but now residential customers can get it. It's more rugged than your typical dishy, and it's much more expensive. However, the price of the service is the same. So $110 for the service, but this one's 2,500. This one's what, 599? Okay. 600 bucks, yep. So I've never seen this one in person. You? I haven't either. Seen it? I haven't so seen it in person. First, we gotta cut it open. Cut it open, of course. Cut the cake, as Scott said. Good. Any? What are people commenting so far? I can't see that yet. Mm, mostly just hello. Howdy. Hi. 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 Hi.
This is clearly the hardest part. Clearly. All right, here we go. This, 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 look at how much bigger the box is, first of all. Yeah. I mean, close this back up for a second. Look at, this is how much bigger this dish is. Right. I mean, it's almost double the size in the box, so this thing's going to be massive, so. Dang, thing's what huge. What do you guys think about our workstation here? <laughs> wow, okay. There's a big tripod. Compared to the one behind it. So just for comparison, this is the uh, high performance uh, tripod and this is the residential one. So We're all one? learning together, by the way. You want to open this one and we can compare yeah, yeah. sizes? Okay. So yeah, I mean, look at that. It is almost twice as, it is almost it's probably twice as big. I think it's massive. When we cut one of these apart. This is this is the uh, this right here is the case that goes over the top of it, right? And we got to take this off. And as you see, we cut really, really close to that on the ones we do for the, the residential dishes. Now check this out. You see where those holes are, guys? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. I'm gonna guess that we can probably yeah. cut right about here first. Absolutely. Because I'm, I'm assuming, see where those end up right here? Yep. I'm just going off what they did before. It's probably where that comes in. It's probably right about there. Because right these are breathers just for the motor area. So right. I'm going to assume it's probably right about there. I just, I want to make sure we don't cut anything important. You know, <laughs> I, we know what's inside these other ones because I've done a, a gazillion of them. But I've never done this one. And I'm not sure if there's some, anything big in there that we don't want to cut through. So we're really going to try and start off slow here and cut off the bare minimum and kind of peek in there and see what's going on before we just go in it because it is an expensive dish and we don't want to mess this up so it's a long story in that they accidentally sent two right okay and the reason for the high performance is that where i live everything is really great except when we have heavy downpours which is what right. we have in florida all the time so when a thunderstorm comes in here i can lose service for several minutes at a time and we're talking about these downpours that are like inch a minute or something or right. not an inch an hour kind of downpours where you, you get, a, get a lot so I was curious to say, hmm, I wonder if this is going to be able to cut through it. And I haven't had enough heavy downpours yet to be able to tell, but so far it's performed pretty well. But you also said you tried to give the extra one to help with the Ukraine yeah, 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 efforts, yeah. and what happened? Well, well, actually, going way back to February, when I, my order first came in for the first issue, I said, I don't need it. I've got fiber working here. I was interested in getting it. Just ship it over to Ukraine. And Starlink said, no, we can't actually take it because it requires different manufacturing for going over there. So I think it's different power supply and a few other things. Okay. So they said that, no, it was not ready to be able to go over there, that the dishes that are in North okay. America really have to stay in North America. This is heavier duty and it's even a little bit longer than the original dish. It's 82 feet versus 75 feet. Peter says, what is the benefit of cutting it up? Peter might have just joined. This is obviously a smaller version of the regular dishes, right? But this is, imagine trying to put this on top of your car. Right. I understand they're made for houses, not made for cars, but there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people that have made their own ways to put these on their RVs or vans or semi trucks, whatnot, um, boats, and it's kind of bulky, right? Right. And some people just want a nice, permanent, you know, clean look. Um, and most people think, oh, you got to be pointed north. Well, the truth is it doesn't because Starlink just came out with a flat mount themselves for the boats and it's completely flat. Um, but, um, the whole point of it is to do this with it. This is a, this is a residential dish. This is this is the piece that I make back here, uh, and we'll go over it one more time again. We cut the residential dish down to that thin. Wow. There's the entire circuit board. That's pretty much what went came out of it. So if you were to flop that back over, mm -hmm. back like that, that would be your dish, right? That you have. We cut everything apart. We take the guts out of it. We take all that out of it. Oh, and show this little. We discovered there's a. Four leaf clover. Yeah, there's a four leaf clover built into the circuit board in every single one of these. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, after that we take, this is actually the, the white wire you see right here is actually the white wire that plugs into uh, the, the leg of your Starlink right here. So we take this whole thing apart, take the wire out of it. Uh, we made uh, a place to put it in here and we plug this, this part right here, plugs back into here, comes right back down. Nice and flush, and we have a nice piece of uh, clear uh, material that goes over it, plastic right there. Bolt it down, you're good to go. 
Uh, and the cool thing is it still uses the same plug as your regular Starlink wire. So you don't have to cut any wires or anything. You just plug your 75 foot cable or 150 foot cable right here, plug in the wall, you got internet. Well, and let's remind people, you started this business, what, three months ago, and it's just absolutely kind of yeah. taken off. This is not yeah. like your only job. No, 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 I was I was just making, um, I, I did the whole off-road thing. I wanted to live stream like we're doing here in our hotel room, but I wanted to do it on a moving race car. I wanted to do what NASCAR and F1 does and be able to share my in-car footage and what my co-driver and I were talking about on the radio. I wanted to be able to share that with everyone while I'm racing through the middle of Baja, Mexico, right. with people around the world. And the problem is you need internet. And right. unfortunately, Mexico doesn't have the greatest internet to start with, especially in the areas that we race. Uh, and it's really hard to do any of this stuff in a car. So we took a Starling just like this that wasn't cut apart. I drilled a hole in my roof of my race car, just dropped it straight in so that the hole that was there was now just a Starlink. And I had this pole coming through the roof and <laughs> it was, you know, we brought just strapped it down. But what happened is it actually worked and I was able to live stream to like thousands of people. It was crazy. Right. Um, and so it's evolved into you making several different yeah. variations. Yeah. And now you're kind of yeah. inundated with orders yeah, and that's relief they, efforts I was, too. I was literally just making them for off-road guys and it blew up into everyone wanted one. And we've made them smaller and smaller and smaller and it's about as small as you're going to get. Right, there. right. So that's how it all happened. It happened very, very quickly. And uh, so truck. Are you guys ready? No. So, let's see. <laughs> it looks like... Steven, thank you for the super chat. This is awesome. I've had Dishy for a bit over a year and it's game changing. Great to see what's inside and that it's able to help people around the world as designed to do. Thanks, Ellie. Drum roll. I'm actually pretty scared to be honest. Why? Because I don't know how this is attached. I don't... It almost seems as if this thing is attached... Uh, at the bottom somehow too, but it's starting to come up. It's starting to come up. Should I immediately? Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's go. good. That's there good. We go. That's good. <gasps> oh. What? All right, we got to figure out these plugs are. Of course, they're way over there. Damn, they're way over there. Uh -huh. Oh man, that's gonna be hard to get to. Okay. Well, we're gonna. I need some flashlights because I gotta get my hand way up in there. Damn, that's that's in there. Or actually, can you actually you know, hold this up? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, <laughs> dude. The whole board—it's it's like covered. they literally made this so that we could cut it and not mess it up. This is amazing. Oh. Wow! Yeah. Are you kidding me? You really are. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is a game changer. Whoa. This is great. <laughs> look at this, guys. Like, guys, check it out. This is what the other ones look like. When you yeah. Tear and it's really scary because if you hit any of this stuff, you're donezo. Right. It's, right. You're game right. over. This thing has a literal protective case over the whole damn thing. Wow. It's crazy. That's okay. That's why it's meant for like marine and everything else. Yeah. Holy oh my moly. Gosh. Okay, so you just gotta, okay, that's that little yep. U-shaped cutout that you kind of have to do. I'm gonna take this. Well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm oh, look like you'd be able to actually do it. Oh, one. perfect. One off. The second one's a little bit tighter. There's two. One. Yeah. Woo. Woo. We got it. There it is. Yeah. All right, all right. I wonder Hold if it, on to does this. Does it look though. a little bit bigger? Look at, we almost nailed it. Look yeah, at that. Perfect. Yeah. We nailed it. Wow. Let's go. That's good. Let's go. Can't get any better than that. Really. Wow. <laughs> Not bad for guessing, right? Yeah, Not that's, bad that's, for how's guessing, huh? Let's just compare it to the size. old housing. It's a oh, little no. bigger. Wow. It's definitely a little bigger. It's definitely a different shape. We can yeah. see that's it's a little close, bit different though. there. Right. But, Look at how much uh, thicker that wire is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's heavy. It's really heavy. And you didn't hit the wire. Ah, uh, yeah, it came Going out just through. a little bit, so. just a little bit, because this is straight. You see how they curved it there? Right. Someone wants to know if we have a cutting template. No, not for this one. This, this was, was not. Guessed. This, this was, <laughs> this was Brandon <laughs> guessing. Yeah, this was me guessing. Yeah, and like what's what we're talking about right now is how close. I mean, we really couldn't have 
this is a symmetrical square. We couldn't really cut any closer. That was a pretty good guess. And you can see where we messed up in the initial guess. Yeah, we Just started there. Right we're like, there. oh, let's move a little bit. And then look at that. Wow. Well, we're going to pop that thing off. Now, anyway, to be honest, this matter. isn't where I would cut. If I was doing more of these, which I'm sure I will after this, um, is the whole point is to get this thing as low pro as possible. Right, right. right? Now, obviously, already, we already took off you know, about an inch and a half, minus the pole, we probably took off an inch and a half already. We could probably take off a whole, I mean, I'm looking at this right now, there's, this thing could be really, really slim. Yeah. I mean, this, this is the thing though, you have to make sure you have, for the plug. For the plug. Yeah, exactly. The plug. So you can't, I wouldn't go probably any further than about right here, but that's, that's only, I mean, it's this mount, this mount is gonna be a little bit thicker than this one, it's gonna have to be. Um, but not by much. I'm and saying this whole thing is going to be about two inches. You're going to take this massive starling that probably mm -hmm. sat, we should have measured it, probably sits at 30 something inches yeah. tall by the time it's on a tripod. Oh, yeah. That's and crazy. you're going to have it down to about two Damn. inches, which is crazy. And Chris, we had no idea what was around here. Inch and a quarter tall. Okay, okay. Quarter. so obviously, if we had decided, oh, let's go really close over inch. here, yeah. we probably would have cut the cable. Yeah, Correct. that's why yeah. we played around the way we did. Yeah, because we I, don't know what's protruding up here. What's and see this right here? I couldn't do, before. I would wouldn't dare do what I'm about to do. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that would be circuit board, and this is completely just. It's all underneath. It's crazy. Whoa! It's crazy. This that's is like wild. So that's pretty crazy. So, um, all right. So, um, that's pretty much it. I think we're gonna. We're gonna tear that thing out of there because we need the. Let's, cable. let's do that right now. Let's yep. take a, we'll take a little quick um, break from cutting because I, I, I definitely want to cut this thing down more. I think we need to cut it down a, a little bit more here. Um, yeah, we mainly wanted to show people what's inside. Which is. Uh, Quite a bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally it's, no, different. It's way different. This is wild. <laughs> well, to be honest, this actually this actually prevents a lot of accidents. The way this is set up, I mean, that's the part that's so scary about doing those ones is you're cutting. I mean, look at one of my cuts is very, very, very close to that circuit board. Yeah. You know what I mean, and even here, you're really close to a bunch of stuff that's right there, and this one seems to have everything completely connect or protected. It's crazy. So, all right, you guys ready to pop this thing open and see what we got here? Yeah. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna stick this guy over here. So what did you guys think of that? Was it cool? Are you surprised? It's pretty different. Use some pretty good glue on this. Someone says to change your Dremel tip. Mm. Would you say that? To what? I don't know. They said spare us the hour of pain. <laughs> well, I'm also oh. like trying not to just butcher stuff the first right, time. Right, right. And, and a lot of times I'm, well, 99% of the time I'm doing this to other people's stuff. Um, and I'd rather not um, just, uh, you know, Okay, how do they compare? Do you think so it's, it's, it's very similar. This is exactly the same as the other one, as the motor ones. This is definitely thicker. Thicker? For sure thicker. But do you think that changes anything? So you see, this is the, this is the motors that mm -hmm. control the, the leg. So the, I would say that the motors are exactly the same. The difference here is this wire mm -hmm. is a little bit different than this white wire, which is much thinner. So we'll, we'll try and compare that in a second here. So. About the same length, right? probably. Yeah. yeah. So Odin says he's still sort of confused on how doing this will make it better. It won't make it better. It will just change the application. It'll it'll change it so that you'll be able to use it. Designed to be mobile. In situations that you wouldn't be able to use. So if you have it on your house, you don't want to do this. You don't want to flat mount your house. Put it on the tripod. Put it on your 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 whatever you have it on, um, and just let it go. But if you're trying to put this on your RV or your van or you're an organization that needs internet out in the field. A lot of construction companies have been ordering these for their, when they go out in the middle of nowhere where there's no cell phone service, they put them on every single one of their vehicles and they all have internet, you know what I mean? So um, we're having a big 36 inch thing 
on top of your car is just not logical if you don't want to do that. So. Jared says it's impressive how they protected the board. Yeah, it's very really impressive. Good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree 100% on that. I'm going to take the dust out of this thing here. perfect fit or what interesting <clears throat> i wonder if we have You're to go the somewhere. other way is that going to cut through oh i mean it had to get in there somehow yeah, exactly. right um, in there somehow. just trying to figure it out so maybe what they did then is they did this way so we'll unclip this guy these are the ones remember i was telling you how I had to cut the other ones off. That's much easier than the ones I just had to do all day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Someone someone liked my uh, YouTube thumbnail with the cannibal corpse vibes. <laughs> you guys, we're almost at Halloween. That's why I used the font. So I hope it didn't offend you. It's just we're chopping things up in here. So there you go. There's the cord that we need. Yes. So pretty much all we need. So... Let's pretend that this, we're, we already have one made, which we don't, we don't have one made. We're gonna have to make another one of my star mount cases for the bigger one, right? This white cord right here is this cord now. Right. Right, same thing, it's just a little bit thicker. So essentially what I'm gonna have to do when I get back to San Diego is we're gonna have to redo the CAD program, make it obviously wider, a little bit taller, and we'll sit this in there and the same thing, we'll have this coming out the side, just like that and you'll be able to plug all the rest of the Starlink stuff as is right into this thing and it will power up just like it was if you were- So playing. are you gonna make a flat mount for this one? What are you gonna do? Oh yeah, of course. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. But David says, can we see Ellie use the Dremel? I have not been able to touch the Dremel since I've been here. <laughs> ah. um, go ahead, I have faith to myself. You can't hurt this right here, so let's go right here. Really? Yeah, let's do it. Just making a hole. Turn it on first, yeah? We're gonna put a hole right, just like you're drilling a hole in that line. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll get to that in a second, that question. Okay, so hold on. Oh, go ahead, hold on. Go on there, go on there. Now you're in, right? Now you're gonna do. You see the line? Don't hit the gap. You're just gonna, you're gonna drive it towards you. Which way? Towards me? No, okay, so yeah, well, you, want to, you want to use the, here, let's do this side. You see how you can see right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. You're going to use that little area to use that so you can see where you're going. Okay. Right? Okay. So go Why ahead, turn on. Why do you want me to do it on the line? <laughs> because that's what we're well, cutting. We do have a question about panels versus roofs and costs well, and stuff we'll, like that. We'll, we'll get to that. that. We'll get to that, but okay. I just want to let everyone know that it was out there. So go ahead and make a new hole. Let's start over. Right there. You don't like it. No, I feel like it's and I, it, it's uncomfortable. It's hard to do sure. it. No, it's just like hard to do it straight. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Uh, Maybe you, I think you're kind of you're, you're, you're kind of just like as soon as you feel like a little bit, you like you pull up. Oh, okay. The other thing is that everyone is saying in the chat is let the tool do the work. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay. It's doing exactly. the cutting, not you. So yes. just okay. let it eat yeah. its way in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I just wanted to practice up here, bro. That's all right. Yeah. Just, right here, then. Okay. Okay. just let practice me do it. We're gonna make a line for you. Ready? Right here. All right. Okay. This one doesn't matter. Who wants to hire me? <laughs> 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 
actually someone said, keep it. your day job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'm a walker and I'm a talker here. Okay. By the way, uh, this is basically the extent of Florida that I've seen since I've been here because it's an extremely short trip. I'm repping the uh, SpaceX, so that's pretty cool. Welcome. Yeah. So we have someone who wants to see what we found inside because they missed it. Oh, we just cut it down even more, so. Um, oh, wow. So this is about, so, this is as low pro as we're able to make this thing now. And so as you can see, here's what you probably have. And this is the high performance. So much more protected. It's, it's weather protected. They say in the specs that it has better capability against extreme weather, and now we know why. This will probably protect moisture salt yeah yeah it's pretty crazy actually this stack of 15 took 15 hours five more to go after our detour with high performance which if you watch my live stream that was about three hours long and here's our handoff to the relief organization help ngo they will add those heavy duty suction cups to all four corners of the mount when properly mounted on a surface like the glass roof of a tesla the mount is not moving highway speeds will not dislodge the mount either so yeah it's pretty strong. Alternatively, you can mount these little suckers on the opposite side and the low pro mount can be mounted inside the vehicle if you have a glass roof. That's not possible with metal roofs because the radio signals can pass through glass, but not metal. And ultimately we did 20 dishes plus one, streamlined and packed for use in emergency situations, not just here in Florida, but around the world. To learn more about the relief organization, Help NGO, check out the link in the description. You guys, when I started this journey two years ago, I thought Starlink was only to bring internet to rural locations, but now it's blossomed into to an important connectivity tool for schools, construction sites, and emergency operations. Now that people understand the capabilities of Starlink, they're finding applications none of us at first imagined. I feel so lucky to have been part of this relief effort and to share it with all of you. Thanks to Brandon, Bob, the other Bob, and Scott for also making this possible. For now, it's Ellie in Orlando because space will have to wait. Mm -hmm.